Am I the asshole? For letting my mom rub whiskey on my baby's gums? I 28 F am a first time mom. My husband and I have a 6 month old baby who is teething horribly. I was at my mother's home a few days ago and was speaking to her about the teething issues. My mom does some old fashioned things and she's really into herbs and natural healing and such, so she wanted to try rubbing whiskey on my daughter's gums. She said she did it to me and all three of my siblings. I let her, and it did seem to calm my daughter down a bit. When I got home I told my husband about this, and he was furious. He said that's harmful to our daughter and it does not relieve any pain. He got really upset and said I shouldn't have let my mom do something like that, and told me I couldn't bring our daughter to my mother's anymore. He's since called the next two days off of work, and is super paranoid watching me every second with our daughter. I feel this is unfair. Gently you're the asshole. You're 28 and a mom. You need to make your own judgments, not just listen to your mom without question. And in this case your judgment was to let your mom give your infant alcohol. Does that sound trustworthy to you? My dad told me that way back in the day in Iran when he was young they used to do the same with babies and just a little bit of opium. While you should have had better judgment, I think folks need to put down their pitchforks on this one. Not the asshole for turning to your mom and letting her try something that her generation and ones before did. Specific to your husband I get being upset, but taking time off work to watch you? Unless you've had severe lapses in judgment before this, I don't see why he's reacting this way. If you have continual severe judgment lapses or continue to use Jack as mommy's little helper, then you'd be the A.H. I guess I'd say E.S.H. Letting your mom put whiskey on your baby's gums was dumb. Your husband is also severely overreacting. The amount of alcohol your baby was exposed to was minimal, it's not going to have any lasting impact, and it's ridiculous to act like neither you nor your mother can ever be along with the baby again. News flash parents make mistakes. Your husband will make one too. You should be educating yourselves and being careful, but also learning to deal kindly with the mishaps they come up. Gentle you're the asshole. You're 28, you have your own child and you are responsible for their well-being. A quick Google search would have told you this probably wasn't the best idea. I understand your husband completely and you should respect the boundary he has set until he feels comfortable again. Not the asshole your husband can say hey don't do that again, taking two weeks off BC of one harmless home remedy is a lot. You're the asshole, yeah? I mean, you know alcohol is unsafe. It also happens not to work as a topical analgesic if the baby quietens down, it's because of the general sedative effect of alcohol. I think it's hilarious how your mother conflates the use of a well understood but completely inappropriate drug with herbs and natural healing. Hello, MD here. A drop of whiskey on someone's finger is not enough to do any kind of harm, not have any sedative effect. I'm not sure about a topical effect, so I'll refrain from judging that, I'd have to look into some studies. Not the asshole, you made a judgment call and trusted your mother. Am I the asshole? Is probably the worst place to go with your parenting fears and questions. Whiskey wasn't the best choice, but you're not the asshole for trying it. Your baby will be fine if you don't make a habit of it. Find something else to manage teething pain. Work on communicating with your husband who is for sure overreacting to the point that I'm wondering about PPD. Don't beat yourself up for not knowing what to do and trying some sheet your mom suggested. This is something my mill did for her two oldest kids back in the 60s, but alcohol is proven to be harmful for babies. She also dropped out of high school. There are non-alcoholic, over-the-counter, pain rub for teething babies. You're the asshole. Not the asshole. We all make mistakes. We learn from them and should be given grace. You're going make mistakes and so will your husband. Health and wellness to you and your family. Not the asshole it is fine in tiny amounts. Not the asshole. 
maybe it's not the best technique now but it's been done for centuries without recalling harming the baby. Your husband has no right to treat you with suspicious behavior or like you are an idiot. Maybe he should have an adult conversation with you about what you both agree you are not comfortable with doing for your daughter. Cutting grandma off is insane. He needs to grow up and stop trying to control you. Natar just a little naive. Your husband calling out for two days though? That's weird. Nah. But I do think the you're the asshole votes screaming about poisoning are overreacting incredibly and a lot of you probably had it done to you as a baby. A few drops on the gums once isn't going to harm the baby. That being said, is it an old teething remedy that should be left in the past? Yes. There are much better safer methods nowadays. You're the asshole, you should have discussed it with your partner first, especially since the remedy actually might be harmful to the child. And honestly, you shouldn't even be using alcohol on a baby, go to a doctor or just get some numbing cream for babies. Not the asshole. That teething remedy has been around for years. Not the asshole not the greatest idea, but one that was used a lot in the past. Your husband's reaction is worrying. He took work off to what watch your every move? And his child can no longer see its grandmother? That reaction is way ye out of proportion. He sounds very controlling. With kids, you're going to have to get a lot more comfortable with being out of control. Life happens, they are little people with their own ideas and likes. Or, you know, he can end up divorced with kids who won't talk to him. Not the asshole. The finger dipped in whiskey and rubbed on sore gums is a tried and true method. Of course it's up to you and your husband to decide you're not comfortable doing that, but to ban the baby from going to your mother's home, and calling off work to watch you with the baby? That's an extreme overreaction, one that I find very concerning. I would say your husband is T.A., but I think it's worse than that. You did nothing wrong. Not the asshole. Husband is ridiculous. I'm gonna be odd man out here, but not the asshole. It's old school for sure. My dad used to do the same to my sisters and I as babies. Hasn't caused any harm to the three of us. You're the asshole. Next time you want to try homeopathic remedies on your child, talk to your partner first. You both must agree, or the answer is no. Not the asshole. Your husband is acting like a neurotic parent. A fingertip of alcohol will not harm your baby. Jesus. No. You are not the asshole and your husband is reacting way over the top. It is essentially harmless and parents have been doing it for centuries. The staying home to watch you with the baby is just bizarre and horrible. Info is there some other reason your husband might react this way, like cultural or religious reasons, or alcohol use disorders in the family?